guys! So today we are making one of the most amazing couple cakes I've ever created. I'd like to introduce you to Mr. and Mrs. Watermelon! I love watermelon cakes! Oh, sorry. I misspoke. I love watermelon cakes! So I decided to make one. We got Jeannie. I think that's her name. I don't know. <laughs> and we got Mr. Malone. What's his first name? Mr. <laughs> What's his last name? Malone. I think these kawaii watermelon cakes are bomb, so let's get started. My name is Rita Repulsa, and it's time to conquer Earth. Let's create this watermelon cake. I am using a 10 inch round cake. Now I am gonna cut this cake in half so I can create two watermelon cakes and both of the cakes are gonna go through the exact same process. I'm just gonna take my cake, place it onto my cake board and then add some buttercream into the middle. And the buttercream I'm using for this video is actually a maple butter with pecan sauce. So buttercream into the middle of my cake and then I gave my entire cake a crumb coat of buttercream. You can get a second coat of buttercream if you have the money. You could do whatever you want. I'm gonna repeat this process to get a uh, genie. Is that what I named her? Genie or Gina? Gina Malone. Okay, it's Gina. So cake, buttercream, cake, crumb coat. That's the process we're going with. That's what I did. Now I placed my cake into the fridge and while I was in the fridge I was actually listening to music. Now I'm a huge country fan so I was listening to Casey Musgraves uh, Golden Hour. What? I love that. Butterflies is a it's so sweet. That song is like like watermelon, so sweet. What what is it called? And Velvet Elvis is it's just so mind-blowingly like disco country modern drag queen sort of mix. That album is great. Those two songs are incredible, so go check them out. Now let's get back to the cake. I took my cake out of the fridge and I covered it with some watermelon pink. I needed to cover the front as well as the top of the watermelon. Now the back of the cake, not so much because I know that's where the green's gonna be to create the watermelon rind. So I covered the cake and then I paneled green fondant all the way around the back to get the watermelon rind and the watermelon skin. I'm gonna add some black dots of fondant to create some watermelon seeds. And then I added two black circles to create Mr. Malone's eyes and I used some red and pink to create his mouth. Now I wanted to give him a very black mustache, I thought that was really cute. So two pieces of black fondant to create each handlebar and then some white catch lights to make him look super cute. And I'm going to add a little bit of paint to Mr. Malone. So I painted on some yellow onto my pink fondant and then I added some stripes of dark green food coloring to create the outside of the watermelon. Now I'm going to repeat that exact same process for Jeannie Malone. Just covered the top and the front and then wrapped some green fondant around the back to create the watermelon skin. Now instead of painting yellow on my pink, I decided to paint some white just so that each of my watermelons would look a little bit different. I'm gonna paint some dark green stripes on the outside and then add some black dots to create some watermelon seeds. For Jeannie, I'm adding two black eyes as well as her mouth. And then I gave her some really nice eyelashes as well. Two catch lights and voila! My Mr. and Mrs. Watermelon were complete. Aren't they darling? Look at that face. Look at that handlebar mustache. One of my favorites! I love the color combination. Watermelon colors are so adorable in this shape and size. I love the expression on their faces and I love all of those watermelon seeds as well. Now I'm curious, I've been creating a lot of kawaii cakes, which is your favorite so far? And what other foods should I turn into kawaii cakes? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this, I love you, I will see you very soon. PEACE!